lecture today. Uh, we were talking earlier about nets and landing fish and so on. And I know on this water, when they catch a fish and catch and release and so on, they like to tail a fish and put it back. However, there are times when you may want to net a, a fish uh, later in the season or whatever. And in many cases, you may have a ghillie with you. You may also be on your own. You may be out in the middle of the river and so on. And for me, the most useful type of net for that purpose is the guy net, the salmon guy net. Uh, the salmon guy net comes in two sizes, salmon or a smaller size and sea trout. And a lot of people I know, they ask us, well, how do you put it together? So what I thought I'd do is just briefly show you how the guy net goes together. When the guy net will come to you in the post or whatever, it will probably come in three pieces. It'll come with the net, the handle, and the carrying strap. This carrying strap has got a Velcro at one end here, which literally, when you're in the water, stood on your own, out in the middle of the river, just literally clips off very simply with one hand. And that's the big benefit with the guy net, it's a one-handed use. The net itself will slide down, down the handle, like so, and come to the end where there's a screw in the end of this handle that actually operates on a flange basis and actually locks the net on the end so it doesn't fall off. And when you actually get the net in the post, that, that screw is very loose and it needs tightening up with a heavy screwdriver or something when you assemble the net. So when you start, use that net to start, that screw to start with is off. You put it in through the through here. The carrying strap itself has got a, a metal loop on one end with a clip on it. That goes on first, so you slide that onto the handle, slide it up to the top. You then slide the net handle butt here, again over the end of the handle, and slide it up. With the handle going over the top of the net and going over the top of it like so. That goes all the way to the top, like so. And then the strap itself has got a piece of Velcro on the end that's at one length only, just here. And that goes underneath the net and round onto the handle on this side. Roop it round and the Velcro then ties onto itself like so. That's the net secured and all you do is put it on your back and you're ready to go. Like so, and we're ready to go fishing. Right, just quickly, I'm going to demonstrate. I'm out in the middle of the river now. I'm going to demonstrate the use of the guy net. Let's assume for a start that I've got a great big salmon on the end of here, and I've got two hands on it. Two hands on the rod, and I'm trying to play the salmon. I've got this spare hand now. I've still got the salmon. I've got it under control, but I'm now going to go and release the net. I can reach for it. Okay, so I've reached around with my free hand. I've undone the Velcro. I've let the net slip to the, to the end of the strap, which is securely tied around my neck, and I can let it go there. I've still got my free hand, I can come back to the rod, I can play out my salmon now to my heart's content. The net's ready, I'm looking downstream, the salmon's probably going to be downstream of me anyway, and when I'm ready to bring a fish to me, I'm going to bring it in and I can net it as easy as that. And that's the benefit of the guy net.